Listen, bro. In this video, I'm about to give you the key secrets to everything about scriptable objects. Now, I know you're sitting right there. You're asking, what is a scriptable object? I've never heard of this. Well, basically, I want you to look at it like a fat variable, like a variable that ate a bunch of variables, like it has a bunch of variables inside of one variable. First of all, get rid of all this stuff. You don't need it. You want to um, change that to scriptable object. And now you have a scriptable object. You put your um, variables in here. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use the main camera, uh, the field of view here. Sorry for doing that. My bad. Basically, um, you put variables here. So I'm going to just say public. Um, look first. <laughs> and we're going to make it look cool. So, you know, do that. So now we have a scriptable object. It's basically we have a variable that has two variables inside of it. Um, this isn't going to make sense. I already know. But we're going to create a script. We're going to say FOV uh, changer changer. All right, we're, we're gonna, we don't need any of this. Uh, you don't have to do any of this. This is just my example um, to demonstrate. Um, so as you can see, now that we have this, this is called scriptable. Say if we're in another script, we can access this by going to public scriptable and then say, you know, my variable, whatever. Hit the mic again, sorry. But now we, we have a, a scriptable object variable itself. Before we do any referencing, refer referencing, before we do any like referencing or anything, we have to be able to create the, the scriptable object. So to do that, you go to the top of the, the script, the, the script, the, the script, the, the scriptable object and go to create asset menu and you put the file name scriptable this can be anything and then the, you can leave it at that but i want to put a menu name because i want to put this in a folder so we're going to put in a folder like detail slash folder slash scriptable object basically that allows this to happen folder scriptable object there you go sorry uh, I'm back now. So now we're able to access the scriptable object through a variable, through its own object, basically. Uh, so that allows us to go camera dot main dot fov equals variable dot uh, first fov. Just to just to show you that it works. Um, we're going to create, we're going to get rid of this second variable here, this first one, and say this is my desired FOV, right? I'm going to duplicate the descriptable object and make it say 60. Okay, that's a good number. So now, if I have this working, we're, we're going to change the names actually uh, to what they represent. So by script, by, by me being smart, what should happen is the field of view should change to 90. And there we are. And if we put this one on, it should change to 610 field of view. And there it goes. So you can see how it works. It's basically turning a script into a variable. But yeah, that's just, that's that's what they are, scriptable objects. Now you know.